So Gamaliel gives this speech and said, well, if Jesus is dead, this is going to come to nothing, so you might as well just let these guys go because it doesn't matter. And the ruling council agrees, and so they have Peter and the rest of the apostles flogged, just brutally beaten, and they let him go. And the next verse in Acts chapter 5 is just weird. The apostles left the Sanhedrin, that ruling council, rejoicing because they had been counted worthy of suffering disgrace for the name. They rejoiced that they were worthy of suffering. That's just messed up. Until you realize why. See, the only time that the world will push back against Christians, the only time that Satan will seek to shut Christians up, is if we are sharing Jesus and we are winning more and more people for Jesus. See, when that happens, the devil is losing his power, he's losing people for his kingdom, and so he fights back. If you're not doing anything, the devil doesn't care. And so the apostles go, this is awesome. Because the devil thinks we're worthy of suffering. He's trying to shut us up, and that means we are serving Jesus well. Now, this is not an excuse for Christians to be jerks. Because sometimes we suffer for being jerks, and that is not what we're talking about here. But if we're suffering because we're sharing Jesus, that's really cool. So, yeah, if you're suffering for sharing Jesus, first, check to make sure you're not being a jerk. That's a good thing. But then rejoice. Because it means the devil thinks you're worthy of being shut up.